hi guys so right now i just wanted to make a short video about over here about uh, a guy uh, who got a uh, volta kernel working on this uh, galaxy s5 and 500 and just pretty much messed up with the hardware and lost his all data so he just like quickly ran out on the xda developers and hit up with the developer and he said just like well done you have lost everything and he was just very upset and posting very very mean like things on the xda over the volta kernel but let me just tell you i have been using this volta kernel with the voltage frequencies uh, adjust to my opinion and it's been like almost of um since the launch actual launch of the volta kernel i have been using it and <laughs> it was a pretty bad days like before you can actually overclock this galaxy s4 to the 2.1 gigahertz and the smaller cores like 1.5 gigahertz or 1.6 which was a very very bad opinion i guess but it was like very very fun thing if it uh, reaches the speed of the galaxy s6 whether to see but um, the developer has just removed that frequencies in order to preserve your old <laughs> memories so let me just show you uh, what i use and let me just tell you it will not harm your device until you use it wisely don't just clock it over everything just overclock and go off then you will mess up like that guy so let me just show you my settings and i've been using these same settings for like five months and no issues at all my phone is very very snappy and uh, battery friendly i guess like at uh, it is uh, now like 48 percent and let me just show you my battery usage i use it a very very less actually screen on time two hours and 48 percent so it been in two hours and i'm getting a 50 percent of battery usage which can last up to three and a half hours actually i go till there as you can see i don't use many of the things mostly the snapchat follow me on snapchat i will leave my name in the description i'm just really tired right now let me show you okay so max frequency 1.6 gigahertz and lowest to the minimum frequency so the ideal drainage will be much reduced also the power efficient work use it will like delay a bit of the like app openings as you can see it will not be like quickest one but it does the job pretty good job of like um, preserving the battery also i have just a bit underclocked the cores of the main ones like 1.6 gigahertz like a tad bit and give it a curve sorry if you are like laughing at me into the curve but there is a curve of the frequency ratio in which your uh, like cpu degrades or uh, fastens i don't know what to say cpu govern the power safe of course i can just put it to the performance anytime for gaming and uh, gpu actually overclocked to the 700 megahertz because this uh, like actually removes the lag in the recent times let me just show you by opening more than four apps like, like it causes the issue more than four apps actually if you opened it simultaneously as you can see i'm running many apps right now let me show you as you can see it will give a bit of a hiccup and the lag will just go away and if you are thinking the video is just smooth it is not the actual uh, recent apps is like smoother as galaxy note 4 like a tad a bit laggy but it's just smooth and also it's a big advantage in gaming your games may might like hang uh, by this kernel but it's okay you are getting these benefits as you can see the lightweight app just reloaded even though the tweaks also in the gpu okay i said the gpu audio i did nothing i just don't want to blast off my speakers lcd power reduce i have disabled that because that just annoys me like i am now in the black kind of scenery and as soon as i go in the white it will just popping out the colors like bright on and off on and off which is just crap so to the battery nothing touch boost nothing i like frequently like uses in gaming if i want to like modern combat 5 first person shooter uh, memory interface control nothing led nothing nothing contract nothing logs nope pick logs nope 
not that network high speed also if you go over here down and wi-fi like it will consume your power but you will get uh, actually pretty reasonable uh, internet speeds actually if you turn uh, this off not force off because uh, it will just cause issues and uh, your wi-fi will just disconnect randomly io fiops which is the best one does may save it up with the other settings low memory kill actually aggressive not excrement as you can see like if you are app is like below 200 kb it will just uh, like randomly go on go on go on but the actual performance will be much better memory nothing anotropy nothing power suspend nothing usb now module snub snog stopper actually stopped backup restore nothing and that's it so let me just tell you don't freak out by the <laughs> comments of the, uh, that guy and just 11 more people which blast off their galaxies for using water kernel i've been using this kernel happily since four months so chill out and peace <laughs>